All right, so in this problem, we are given a table, and we want to see which of the following options represents the same relationship as the table given. All right, so in order to better understand this table, we are going to find it, we're going to find the point slope form of this table, and that means that we first have to find the slope. And in order to find the slope, we have to pick two points and plug them into our slope formula. So we have y1, which is negative 2, minus y2, which is negative 3, divided by x1, which is negative 2, minus our x2, which is negative 1. All right, so now we have a negative and a negative, which create a positive. So we have negative 2 plus 3, which gives us a positive 1, divided by, again, positive and a positive, uh, negative and a negative create a positive. So we have negative 2 plus 1, which gives us negative 1. So a positive 1 divided by a negative 1 gives us a negative 1, because a negative divided by, or a positive divided by a negative gives us a negative. All right. Now, we know that our y-intercept is at negative 4 because the y-intercept occurs when the x equals 0 and the y is negative 4. And so we have uh, our point slope form is going to be y equals negative 1 times x plus our y-intercept, which is negative 4. So this is our point slope form, and this is what we're going to be looking for and analyzing in our answers. All right, so option A states that y equals positive x minus 4. Now, this is really close to representing our function, but we have a positive x here instead of a negative one, and therefore A will be eliminated. Now, let's move on to B. We can automatically see that the y-intercept is correct because it crosses at negative 4, but we don't know exactly what the slope is. So let's pick two points and calculate our slope. So our first point can be negative 4, comma, 0, and our second point can be 0, comma, negative 4. All right, now let's calculate our slope. We have y1, which is 0, minus y2, which is negative 4, divided by x1, which is negative 4, minus x2, which is 0. So again, we have a negative and a negative that create a positive. So we have 4 divided by negative 4. So our slope is going to be negative 1. So if we put this graph in option B into point slope form, we have y equals negative 1 x, and our y-intercept over here is at negative 4, which is exactly the point slope form that we found in our table, and therefore B will be the correct answer. And let's quickly see why C and D are incorrect. Now in C, we are given another table. Now instead of doing the same, the same um, operations again, into putting into point slope form, we can take a few points to see if we get the same answer. So we can take, let's pick the first two points and plug them into our point slope form that we found here and see if we get a true statement. So instead of y, I'm going to be plugging in negative 4 equals negative 1 times x, which is negative 8, and we have a minus 4. So we have negative 4 equals negative 1 times negative 8 gives us a positive 8 minus 4. And so here we have a negative 4 equals 8 minus 4, which is a positive 4. And therefore, the statement is incorrect because negative 4 does not equal a positive 4, and C will be a eliminated. And now in D, we can already eliminate it because we see that the y-intercept does not cross at this negative 4. And we know that from our point slope form that the y-intercept has to cross at negative 4. And therefore, D will also be eliminated, and B will remain our final answer.